It was 1998. Russ Shepard had just arrived in the remote Arctic community of Kugluktuk in preparation for his first teaching job after graduating from the University of Saskatchewan. I knew nothing about the Arctic, about the, the culture, the people, um, how life was lived up there, and uh, being a social studies teacher, it really intrigued me. There's no road to Kugluktuk. A one and a half hour flight from Yellowknife is the only way in. In winter, temperatures can drop to a bone chilling minus 46. But for Shepard, it was his students who would provide the biggest challenge. A culture of substance abuse and domestic violence coupled with the town's isolation too often led to dark choices. You're either being productive and doing things like sports and working and going out on the land or you're walking around the streets and you're bored and that never leads to good decisions. In his second year, Russ would give the kids another option, something physical, something that would bring them together as a team, that something was lacrosse. It's aggressive, it's physical, it's clean. And then what happens is you come off the floor and now you've released a lot of that negative pented up energy. I've heard a few students say that they lose themselves within the game. It kind of helped me develop my personality. It helped me bring out a social being about myself. It helped me converse with others. It helped me in a lot of different ways. Shepard originally planned to spend a year in Kugluktuk. That year turned into seven. And in June 2005, when it was time to move on, he'd left an indelible mark on the students he taught. We all have full-time jobs and we have our own families and it's just pretty remarkable that the kind of impact that program made all together. After stints in Alberta and Ontario, Shepard would eventually leave teaching to become a lawyer, but not before signing life rights to his story. More than 10 years on, he would return to the North as filming of The Grizzlies a full-length film based on his experiences would begin. The trip up there was almost as emotional as I've ever had in my life. To see that being acted out and the names of kids that I taught being used, it was pretty unbelievable. Filmed in Iqaluit and Toronto, The Grizzlies was director Miranda de Poncier's first full-length feature. I had always wanted to direct in the back of my mind, but I just hadn't really come across something that felt like I could get behind it. When Russ and I started to work together and I spent more time up north and learned more about the real story, it just climbed into my heart. De Pontier, who spent over eight years working on the movie, says keeping it authentic was essential. The kind of pain that exists in this true story is happening right now every day in the north so i think the best way of being able to shine a light on this issue is to tell it honestly and truthfully and shepherd can now add acting to his resume thanks to a cameo appearance in the film it's a big scene it took us a long time to shoot which was great except i was the referee which means i had to run the field every time we did a retake i think my fitbit was at like 40,000 steps that day no word yet on the film's exact release date Shepard admits there will definitely be mixed emotions when the day comes. I'm excited to see it, but I'm nervous to see it too. Probably sit in my basement and put it on by myself and watch it that way. For Go in Cranbrook, I'm James Farnan.